This vlog is my ode to Kashmir. In all of my travels, I have never seen a place as beautiful as Kashmir. I've been there twice, and in total I've spent almost two months there, and I can say with confidence that it's one of the most incredible places on earth. The people there are so kind and hospitable. I had the great pleasure of uh, being the guest in the homes of many families and sitting on the floor and drinking kava tea and eating biscuits. The food is amazing. If you like rice and mutton, Kashmir is the place to go. You have to try Kashmiri Wazwan. I I've, it's, it's, a, it's a delicacy that must be savored. Um, my favorite place is Kareem in Srinagar. The, um, the food is just, ah. Uh, it's full of power, which is why it's, I think, is one of the reasons the Kashmiri people are so strong and resilient. I mean, I, I'd say a Kashmiri baby is stronger than I am, <laughs> and the women there are so tough. I mean, just the people are, are you know, Kashmir is famous for its natural resources, um, and I think that the most valuable resource there are the people themselves. Um, what else? Oh, saffron. Oh my goodness, incredible. Um, oh, and um, my favorite place, I would say, that you have to visit is Palgam. I call it the Valley of Horses because when you go there, there are horses everywhere. They're wandering around the streets like, like chickens or dogs, you know? They're just, they're part of the fabric of, of, the, of the society there and it's a great place to go trekking into the mountains. You know, that's the cool thing about Kashmir is that it's, located in a valley surrounded by the Himalayas. So everywhere you look are these epic mountain ranges and beautiful pristine lakes. And um, when you're in Srinagar, you have to go check out the Mughal Gardens, Shalimar Gardens, Nishat Gardens. Um, it's an incredible, incredible just celebration of, of the intersection between, between architecture and nature. Uh, it dates back hundreds of years, and it's just, Kashmir is like a place just rich in culture and art and beautiful things to see. The embroidery there is just phenomenal. The paper mache that you'll find is just, there's nothing like it. Um, the carvings, the jewelry, the stones, I mean, because there's so many mountains, there are all these natural stones everywhere, you know. Um, Today, in today's world, there are a lot of fake stones that are created by pressure and heat under artificial circumstances, but in Kashmir, you'll find the real thing. Kashmir is just full of, just, and just, it's incredible. You have to experience it. Um, now, what is unfortunate about Kashmir is that the people are indeed being oppressed. When you're there, you can't help but notice that there are men with machine guns on every corner and as a foreigner experiencing that I really did get a sense that unfortunately I don't think in my experience the Indian government really cares about the people of Kashmir I think they care about the land of Kashmir and the resources are, that are there um, but I don't think they care about the people if the Indian government wants to show that they care about the Kashmiri people I think that they need to take all those resources that they're putting into the army to be there. And for me, I would like to see them first and foremost put those resources into um, reconstructing the roads to start off. Um, I drove to Kashmir. I did that drive twice to and from. And the, the roads are a little, a, little, uh, a little scary. You can tell they're not being very well maintained. Uh, it doesn't seem like the Indian government really cares about... Um, about empowering the people. I, I really get the impression that they, they just want to um, suppress the people, which is very sad for me to see. Uh, I think that there needs to be a new focus on education and schools. You know, I met a lot of children who weren't going to school, and that was really unfortunate. Um, but, you know, there's, I, I don't want, I do not want to engage in a political debate, and I will not engage in a political debate. And I accept that there's a lot I don't know about the situation, but um, I've also been there firsthand, and I can speak from my own experiences of what I witnessed and just the kind of people I got to interact with. And my wish for the Kashmiri people is that, well, my wish for the Kashmiri people is my wish for, for all people, and, that's, and that's, that's freedom, the, the freedom to choose, the freedom 
to be, the freedom to, to be respected. So I don't think the solution for the for the um, for what's happening in Kashmir is more oppression. I don't think <laughs> oppression is ever a solution. I think respect and communication and trying to understand one another fully is is the is the solution because people are not aggressive or violent because of their religion or because of you know who they are I, I think people are aggressive when they feel angry because they've been hurt and when people are hurt hurting them more doesn't help when someone's hurt when you're hurt when you have hurt inside the way to heal that is to first face it and try to understand it so my wish for Kashmir is that more people go there more travelers more tourists you know there there are a lot of tourists there now not as many as there were I mean over the last 25 years the tourism industry because of everything that's happened really took a nosedive and and you really get the sense that there's a very real struggle in Kashmir today and the people are hungry their children are hungry and they want for their children what everyone wants for their children a good meal a fair education a good life is that so hard to understand so my wish for Kashmir is healing my wish for Kashmir is a new dawn a new era of peace and prosperity and 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 just embracing change and something new arriving and healing is possible and it's founded on communication and an attempt to understand one another and empathy and a desire to give our children happy healthy lives so if you're a traveler I encourage you to go to Kashmir see see what the beauty there see what's happening you know go with open eyes and an open heart um, you know meet as many Kashmiri people as you can and speak to them learn gain empathy and this is not just for travelers but for Indians as well you know don't don't believe the propaganda machine go there and see what there is and you know when I was there there are many Indians traveling the only Indians who aren't traveling there are the ones who are afraid so you know I'm a big believer in facing our fears you know especially in the spirit of adventure and setting out into the unknown and you know sometimes getting uncomfortable but that's where growth happens you know it, we become stagnant when we stay in the same place and stay comfortable and 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 if we want to change sometimes we got to get uncomfortable first and have new experiences that challenge us so you know go to Kashmir support the Kashmiri people spend money with the local businesses you know just be a part of the ecosystem and participate don't be silent and just stretch your heart stretch your heart because everyone's children deserve to have a bright future doesn't matter what religion or nationality or orientation of any time because I think the biggest lie that um, that the powers that be and this this happens around the world it happens in America it happens all over the world but the lie is that we're separate the lie is that we're not the same but we are we all we all have love in our hearts that just wants to come out and many people have been hurt on both sides but if we keep doing the same thing we're gonna keep getting the same thing so I believe it's time to start doing something different and that begins with a new perspective of reaching for understanding and forgiveness and healing and just it sounds kind of cliche but thinking of the children you know so go to Kashmir it's beautiful it's incredible It'll, you'll see something you've never seen before and uh, I'm really glad that I did